today I'm going to be creating a double page layout from the Bloom with Grace Close to My Heart Cricut collection. So I'm just showing you on my iPad there uh, all of the different cuts that come with this. It is a full completed two page layout. Uh, so all you have to do is send that to your Cricut and cut everything. So I wanted to ink the edges of my paper here. So I, I did most of it ahead of time, but I just wanted to show you. I've chosen the almond ink because it's very light. I didn't want it to be too stark. Um, so I'm just adding some ink to the edges so that it will stand out better. Uh, the background cardstock is French vanilla as well as the background on the pattern paper. Uh, so they blended in so much that they really didn't show off that pretty little cut around the edge. So I'm just inking those edges and then I'm going to take the rest of the components and I'm going to start to assemble the layout. So now I'm starting to assemble all of the flower components. As you can see the center of the sunflowers, I cut it out with the wood grain, um, but I ended up running it through my embossing folder just to add a little bit of texture to it. So as I'm putting all of the pieces onto my page, I'm just following along with uh, the layout in Cricut. So I'm looking there, I'm kind of seeing where the placement is of everything, and I'm just following along exactly what it shows me. And it just makes it so easy. Uh, this layout really came together quickly. So I've got all my photo mats pre-cut and I've inked them with the almond ink as well. It doesn't really do a lot, but it just adds such a little subtle touch to them. Uh, I think it just really makes them look so much nicer. And I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time gluing down my title. It's pretty tiny and thin, so it takes a little bit of time. I found that the liquid adhesive is uh, probably the best option for this. Uh, it just gives me a nice fine line there makes it a little bit easier to deal with.
So everything's all attached now. I just need to get my pictures printed, add them to my photo mats and stick those mats down and then everything is completed. So now that I have my photos, I decided to make a little hidden journaling spot. So I've added some thin 3D foam tape to my picture and I've cut out a tag with our thin cut dies and I've added some uh, fern twine to that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.